Several weeks ago, I did an episode about China recruiting 30 former RAF pilots to train the Chinese Air Force's flight students in basic fighter tactics, and how the UK's Ministry of Defense was frustrated by its ability to do anything about it by invoking international law or other official means. Three days after I posted that episode here at the channel, the plot thickened, as a former U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier pilot was arrested in Australia at the request of the American FBI. Australian Federal Police arrested Daniel Edmund Duggan, 54 years old, on October 21st, 2022, in the rural town of Orange in New South Wales. He was denied bail and taken to the nearby Bathurst Jail. Duggan is a former U.S. citizen, and the United States is reportedly working with the Australian government with formal extradition proceedings. Under Australia's extradition treaty with the U.S., the U.S. government will have 60 days to make an extradition request. The treaty allows Australian citizen, and Duggan is an Australian citizen now, to be extradited. After a decade of flying as a U.S. Marine Corps Harrier pilot, Duggan moved to Australia and started a business called Top Gun Tasmania, where he hired former U.S. and British military pilots to offer tourist fam rides in fighter jets. He also flew ex-military aircraft in Australian air shows. Then in 2014, he moved to Beijing, and soon after that, he sold Top Gun Tasmania. Starting in 2017, Duggan worked in Qingdao, China, as the managing director of AviBiz Limited, which was described as, quote, a comprehensive aviation consultancy company with a focus on the fast-growing and dynamic Chinese aviation industry, end quote. Hong Kong company records show AviBiz Limited was registered there by Duggan, who held an Australian passport in 2017. The company was dissolved in 2020. Now the plot thickens again, as the indictment against Duggan, which was originally drawn up in 2017, was recently unsealed. The details of this indictment were made public by several news outlets, including the Wall Street Journal. The indictment said the naturalized Australian provided military training to the People's Republic of China pilots through a test flying academy in South Africa between 2010 and 2012. This is the same organization I mentioned in the previous episode that China has been using to recruit veteran Western military pilots. This company has no official connection to the South African government. The indictment said Duggan was allegedly contracted to provide services to a Chinese state-owned company, including evaluations of Chinese military pilot trainees, testing of naval aviation-related equipment, and instruction on tactics related to landing aircraft on aircraft carriers. According to the indictment, Duggan did not seek authorization from the U.S. government to provide military training to China, although the U.S. State Department had informed him by email in 2008 this was required to train members of a foreign air force. The indictment also alleges he traveled frequently between Australia, the United States, China, and South Africa between 2009 and 2012, and at that time he held both U.S. and Australian citizenships. Duggan has since renounced his U.S. citizenship. As part of Duggan's aircraft carrier flight operations training, a T-2 Buckeye was bought from a U.S. aircraft dealer by providing false information that resulted in the U.S. government issuing an export license. Duggan faces four charges, including conspiracy to defraud the United States by conspiracy to unlawfully export defense services to China, conspiracy to launder money, and two counts of violating the Arms Export Control Act and international traffic in arms regulations. For those who aren't familiar with the T-2, it was used for intermediate jet training, including student naval aviators' first look at the aircraft carrier where they would get six daytime arrested landings. The final carrier qualification flights made by the T-2 occurred in 2003. After that, it was replaced by the T-45 Goshawk. This T-2 exported to South Africa was listed for sale previously on aircraft.com. It's last known to have South African registration. The current fate of this Buckeye is unknown. It was taken off the FAA registration on May 9, 2011, when it was exported to South Africa. Duggan's next appearance in Australian court is today, which is December 16, 2022. U.S. prosecutors said because he's already in Australian custody and extradition proceedings are ongoing, there was no need to keep the indictment sealed, which is why all of this information is coming out now. All right, more on this situation as the information becomes available. So if you're not already a subscriber, click the button and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon below, or become a patron at patreon.com slash wardcarroll. And in the meantime, I look forward to talking to you again very soon.